she wants to be on the they're trying to get kids to watch all the and then he's like yeah 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 yeah, that's cool and everything he they're trying to make us gay yeah yes yes yeah yes yes mr michael but like and 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 like the whole thing with the kids and they're so open to yeah 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 yeah. they're trying to make us gay <laughs> okay can you can we talk a little bit about what's going on with conservatives and the hub can we can we talk a little bit about this? I know I don't want to talk about Michael Knowles anymore, but this is just too wacky to pass up. I, I don't know if like the 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 trans delusion that that's been going on sweeping the nation amongst conservatives is starting to die off or anything or they see the writing on the wall that that, that, that this this can't keep continuing on with them making money out of it. But like here's they've. They've they've translated all of this into something incredibly weird. And I'm just going to honestly, I'm just going to play a little bit of it for you. And then you'll you'll just figure out what he's talking about in due time. I promise. This is a breaking news story. Breaking news. Uh, I'm really pleased that we were able to uh, get this story. And uh, we did not do the investigation. This investigation was undertaken by a, a wonderful uh News group. This would be Sound Investigations. I am joined here by one of the journalists, Arden Young. Arden, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you so much for having me, so, Michael. So, Arden, before we get into how you cut, conducted cut her this off investigation, what it all means, I want to just show people some clips of of what you've uncovered because some of us have suspected that Pornhub and its parent company, formerly called MindGeek, now it's called ALO. They have to keep changing the name because they're an evil company and they, they don't want to have to uh, face the music. Some of us have suspected that they've work. been up to these kinds of activities for a while. Here it is in their own words. Let's say you're 12 years old, you're still figuring out your sexuality, maybe even your gender. Wouldn't it be helpful to see... Not a Wait a second. Top Pornhub staff admits to inserting gay and trans themes into mainstream porn to convert straight men. Now that's a bold claim. Let's see. <laughs> let's see how they have to back this up. All right. This is not about the the initial claim, but sure. Let's 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 see what they did. He admitted to have to uh, face the music. Twelve years old. You're still figuring out your sexuality, maybe even your gender. Wouldn't it be helpful to see not a celebration, but just like maybe a normalization of something that you think is what you want, you know? It probably helps a lot. Let's say I was 12 and I saw like Trans Angels, I saw all these different sites. It would help me figure out what I do like and what I don't like. I need to try to push stuff that's more less less accepted like putting a putting a, a trans male or a trans female in a scene you wouldn't get that on a normal mainstream site so test it out see if you get a bigger audience with it see if you can convert somebody right like maybe somebody who's never looked for anything like that might find it interesting and click on it same thing for buy stuff same thing for gay that's another senior script writer at mind geek now called alo but we all know it okay but like i i'm not gonna lie to you I thought it was going to be way worse than what they showed. I thought it was going to be, I thought it was going to be way worse than what they actually heard. I thought he was, I thought he was like, we're trying to traffic as many children to the site as possible. Oh, okay. This is, this is way different than what they were, when what he tried to show this as. So let's, let's go back again. Let's say you're 12, you're figuring stuff out, your sexuality, maybe your gender. Wouldn't you think it'd be helpful? Not a celebration, but maybe a normalization of something that you think is what you want probably helps a lot so so yeah if you're if you're a kid like this is just representation in media that he's just talking about yeah representation in media is good sure let's say i was 12 yeah. and i saw like trans angels i saw i don't know if trans angels is porn let's i guess let's figure it out i'm gonna <laughs> intermission <laughs> just in case no of course i'm not showing you dummy Sex action. <laughs> Crazy name. Crazy word. But yeah, okay. Sound investigations. This is from June 2023. Sure, let's see. All these different sites, it would help me figure out what I do like and what I don't like. All right, but like, what was the question? What was the question that was asked? Because here's the thing, okay? 
I don't think it's good they, that like kids are able to access like adult media. That's not that's typically not good for them. But with that being said, one thing that conservatives don't want to admit is that the fact of that, that the fact is their fight against sex ed has left a massive hole in the understanding of of people growing of adolescents and people growing into adults when it comes to like a very important aspect of their life. And people do. And it's been shown through studies that when when people aren't given proper sex ed, people look to porn to be able to fill up that void. And so that's that's simply true. Understanding that that aspect of the world is not like a is not is not advocating for it. That is just it's just simply true. Right. And it's a failure of schools that conservatives don't want to actually be fixed. But with that, with that being said, if you I don't know if you I don't know what the question is. We have to figure out what the actual question is. If you asked specifically if like a 12 year old stumbled across these sites, what what do you think there could be any positive impact? on their life and if it's just like representation in media then i mean i guess do you know any stories of these people even talking to kids about sex ed no i don't think they do but their sex ed is don't have it until you're like un- don't have it until you're 30 unless you're a woman then you should have it at 16 minimum with a 30 year old so you can so you can start pumping out children as as quickly as possible to save the white race. <laughs> they want medieval marriages? Would Michael knows he wants worse than medieval marriages. Try to push stuff that's more less less accepted. Like putting a putting a, a trans male or a trans female in a scene, you wouldn't get that on a normal mainstream site. So test it out. See if you get a bigger audience with it. See if you can convert somebody, right? Like maybe somebody who's never looked for anything like that might find it interesting and click on it. Same thing for buy stuff, same thing for gay. Yeah, I don't know. That's just not that's not that's just not crazy. I don't know if this con- this question is even related to the other questions. They just cut it up. And that's just like I don't know, just like a having people watch videos on their site is their product. So yeah, they would put different products in there to see if people like it. That's how that works. It's another senior scriptwriter at my- But apparently to them, this is trying to but to conservatives this is trying to make conservatives gay with porn by showing them gay porn all right these have 400 views i thought that this was with the way it's being talked about i thought this is going to have like i don't know like the four million views or something oh is this supposed to be wait are they trying to pick up where like project veritas left off since like Veritas and o- O'Keefe like split ways and they've completely fallen apart. Are they just trying to do what Project Veritas did, but they're just worse at it? I also thought that this would be popular, but I think it's literally just Michael Knowles who's who stumbled upon who stumbled up, uh, upon it. The Pornhub tapes. Okay. Investigations. Okay. Or we just secretly record people while asking them a million questions. All right. Mind Geek, now called ALO, but we all know it as Pornhub. That's just the biggest pornographers on the planet. Two major discoveries here. One, they they know that kids What's are that looking at their content. They're totally fine with it. It obviously helps their business model. We- what, what's up with these crazy cuts? What's going we on all here? knew that. Well, for one, that's not what he said. <laughs> that's not what he he didn't say boy i love kids watching things kids shouldn't he didn't say that why do you just have to lie about here's the thing you can even make this look bad with even without even lying you don't have to lie about what he said he didn't say that he didn't say boy i love little kids watching watching x-rated videos he just the jump these jump cuts is like a marvel film right it's crazy to hear it in their own words we all knew that the second discovery to me, is the most shocking. Senior scriptwriter here at the biggest porn company on earth saying, yeah, we're trying to convert straight guys into looking at gay porn. Wait a second. Am I wrong here? But did he just say that children accessing X-rated material online that's not the real problem. Did he just say the real problem is Pornhub trying to, is Pornhub putting like bisexual porn 
in in the straight porn section oh my gosh they've they've outflanked me with their stupidity i thought i thought it was just going to be the normal sort of everybody that i don't like is a pdf it's actually <laughs> he's wait so you're telling me if if it was just the first thing and he was trying to say that 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 they they were trying to get kids on the site would he even be making a video about this bros like we need to talk about this man i'm telling you i've been seeing a lot of a lot of like bbg porn on my timeline recently and then i knew that there was something up <laughs> okay he's like i knew something had to be happening here i've been seeing too much like i've been seeing too much cuck porn recently and it's just been it just keeps popping up on my timeline in the recommended feed why does it keep recommending me it needs content i guess but maybe i don't know maybe maybe things have gotten slow over there and so I clicked on it just to make sure. And I watched the whole video to really make sure it really was exactly what it was. And yup, that was two boys sucking pee pee. And I was like, holy shit. And so I had to click on another one and then another one. And then I was like, oh my gosh. And before I even knew it, my whole timeline was filled. They're truly trying to destroy society from the inside out. Isn't that right, guys? Isn't that right, chat? Wow, chat. Wow, chat. You want to be Tucker so bad. He wants to talk about sissy hypno porn so bad. Or trans porn. We're always trying to push the boundaries. We're not even just serving the market that already exists for porn. We're trying to create new markets by, by creating new desires in people that they do not previously have that are certainly out of the mainstream that are considered more deviant. And, and we're going to slip that content into the porn to expand to expand the palette, I suppose, of the customer. I <laughs> Bro, he's actually, he's tweaking. <laughs> Yo, he's tweaking about the idea of just like a, of just like a buy scene showing up on, on, on in the straight porn section. Like, bro, you're, it's okay. It, you'll, you'll literally be fine. He's actually, he's going crazy. Look at his face, man. He can't believe this. He's like, listen, I can put up with kids watching porn. But the trying to convert me into a gay sexual is like, I can't. It's, it's a step too far. It's a step too far. I, 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 he's, they've, they've gone past the, the, the like groomer accusations. They don't even care about that anymore. Wow. You see it in their own words that they, they actually really never even cared. I think that's remarkable, if I'm going to be honest with you. I can't believe they're admitting this. I know. I mean, I, I was sitting across from him. That was probably one of the last things I was expecting him to say. Um, I My instincts were to just ask him about the, the kinds of things they were marketing to people because I knew he does primarily work on gay and trans pornography sites. That's mainly what he writes. And um, he was very, very open. He was very matter of fact. And in fact, he, like you saw, he even viewed kids viewing porn as a positive thing. So you, you're conducting this interview. This guy obviously has no idea what's going on. But you'd think if, if you were working for so degenerate a company and, and you were engaged in such, even today, frowned upon kinds of behaviors, you might be a little... A, a, you might play it a little closer to the vest, right? He didn't, though. Did it take much prodding, or was he just open about this? He was extremely open about this, and this we're talking about Dylan in particular, the senior script writer for ALO. Um, he was extremely open, extremely obliging, did not think my questions were strange or out of place at all. Um, and it goes to show you kind of the mindset these employees of this company are in. Porn, um, in all of its forms, are so normalized to them and they're so callous to something as serious as a child being able to view pornography. But of course, we all know, and in fact, in one of your interviews, you you mentioned that the, the median age of exposure to pornography now for kids is something like 11. Frankly, I'm surprised it's that high. I, I, I would even suspect it might be lower. Maybe today it is lower. Seven? Man, what do you, what do you give it a, what do you give it a seven-year-old? They could watch that type of stuff, man. What are you talking about? What are you even referring to, brother? 
I mean, it would make sense to me that it would be like 10, 11, like 11, 12, 13 or something. Because that's when that's like around the time when you're hitting puberty. And also when you when you would be like going to other kids houses and stuff and then or or something and they'd be like, yo, look, look what I found. And it'd be like a uh, it'd, be, it'd be something it'd be something goofy. Right. They probably shouldn't be looking at. But I don't know if that's any different than than necessarily how it was a while ago. These people are obsessed with kids. It's quite weird. We, we all know that kids are accessing porn, and that's how the porn companies uh, cultivate and groom their, their future crop of customers, because kids' brains are very, very malleable. If they get addicted to this stuff when they're 10 or 11 years old, they're going to stick with it for a very long time, most likely. Again, it's horrifying. They should be prosecuted for it. It's just evil. It's great to hear them admit it. The thing that is so shocking to me, I guess, is that we have been told for my entire life by the left, by the, the pro-pornography people, by the sexual revolutionaries, that sexual desire is innate and immutable. It's an orientation. Nobody. This is so crazy to me because she's, this is so interesting because she wants to be on the, they're trying to get kids to watch all the p pornog. And then he's like, yeah, 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 that's cool and everything. He, they're trying to make us gay. Yeah, yes, yes, yeah, yes, yes, Mr. Michael. But like, and 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 like the whole thing with the kids and they're so open to, yeah, 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 yeah. They're trying to make us gay. <laughs> he's like, he keeps he keeps doubling down on the this is the part that's so shocking. He's like the yeah, 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 yeah. The kids, the kids thing is great. They're trying to make us gay. <laughs> like. Brother, chill. They can't make. No, I'm sorry. They still can't make you gay. There's, they still can't make you gay. He actually doesn't care. He genuinely doesn't. It reminds me of that that time when that like Kuiper bitch was groomed by Nick Fuentes into is being his like bottom bitch in his basement editing videos for him. But then he realized that uh, Fuentes was grooming him to probably have like gay cat boy booty sex with him. And then he was like, oh, no, my 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 leader's actually gay. And then he left. And then he talked about how he was abused and everything. And Fuentes was like looking through his room to see if he could find cum chips to eat um, around his like like around his bed before he was able to get it out of the house. And he went to go tell other like Roper adjacent people and alt right fashy types, but they literally didn't care about like his alleged abuse uh, that he suffered at the hands of Fuentes. He was like trying to beg them to pay attention when they were just cackling about the, how about the idea of of Fuentes possibly liking Euphoria. <laughs> this is crazy to me, honestly. And no, them serving you something and you. I don't know if this is the case. Then does like does Michael Knowles think that he's putting him? If this is the case, where like watching this stuff could put you in danger. Does Michael Knowles actually believe that he's putting himself in harm's way? Like he's close to being corrupted while while doing his job while looking at trans and gay people all day. Like the fact that they're looking at, at like trans and gay people makes makes him more likely to be trans gay trans or trans gay or something like he's 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 like the the forefront he's he's the he's the guard against <laughs> against becoming uh, his audience becoming super duper gay is that how that works can we gayify Michael Knowles? Well, technically, by his estimation, if you show him enough gay people, he'll become super gay. He'll be or maybe he thinks that he's personally strong enough to be able to overcome gay homosexuality. Or, and so he wouldn't fall for the trap, but other but but weaker willed men might. And so that's what he thinks is going on. He's already corrupted. That's why he likes it so much. Oh, is that is it like when so is the Daily Wire using Michael Knowles the same way drugs use? Sorry, the same way cops use um, like drug users um, to help like find other like drug dealers in the area to bust them. So like the 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 best way to get into the mind of a criminal is to have the mind of a criminal. And so they send Michael Knowles, who is a prolific gay porn actor. They send his ass out there to to finally put a stop to all of this, you know, hullabaloo, <laughs> this malarkey. <laughs> exactly, you're getting in that. I think I think I'm onto something. I think I'm onto something. 
he's sweating bullets trying to maybe he's been through maybe he's been through type the type of training that agent 47 has has been through you know like it's he's been through torture training the, the same his his version of torture training where he he goes right and then he's like you know what i can do this and he's been spending time recently like trying to be able to <laughs> he's been spending time trying to be able to <laughs> Uh, withstand the, the the homosexuality it's a luring pull so now he's become immune the same way i've become immune to all torture with the torture mat when i was when i was younger i don't know what age i was i was watching a i was watching one of those really old lego lego mation lego lego animation stop motion videos of robin and batman and batman walked into robin's room and robin was and he's like, what are you watching, Robin, on, on like the back computer? And Robin was watching, he was watching two corn. He, was, he said he was watching corn and it was like two, two corn cobs rubbing up against each other. <laughs> and I was like, and I was like, damn. That's crazy. And I was like, corn, 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 boob boob naked neck naked naked boob 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 with no clothes Cl pretty woman no clothes boob <laughs> no woman no no clothes boob corn <laughs> and I was, I was just you know and that's and that's what happens but i don't know if these i don't know if like conservative parents ever ever like do like the talk with their kids about like sex ed they just hope that they either they just get it one day yeah so that's what happened to me becomes gay bisexual trans it's not you you're just you're born that way and how dare you suggest how I, we'll probably be kicked off of social media for even for even repeating what god willing top porn employee god is, willing who writes the stuff who, know, who knows what he's talking about what he is admitting on camera we'll probably be kicked, kicked off even for repeating it but Inshallah. what he's saying is, yeah, nah, that's all bunk. Yeah, actually, yeah, you can convert people. That's how our business model works. You got to slip in this weirder stuff. So you take a guy who's been straight his whole life. Here's the thing. He said convert, but he's like convert into like being gay or something. I think he means convert into being like a watcher. No, Mr. Knowles, you still can't convert somebody into being gay. You can be convert somebody into watching stuff that they didn't think that they wanted to watch, but that's all recommendation features. There's still like a, there's still like a search engine at the end of the day. He's so mad. I'm telling you, he doesn't even actually care about like the, cause I thought I was going to have to look into the whole like 12 year old question thing. Bro doesn't even care. He only cares about the idea of that he's been he's been vindicated. He wants to toot his own horn about being vindicated about you being you be being put through gay my bad straight and cis conversion therapy by Pornhub giving you the option of watching of 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 of, of, of watching two two boys slam their sausages against each other. Like, I don't know, man, that's just, I'm just saying that you, you, you probably just weren't straight. If you look at something gay and go, mm, gay, I need me some of that. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm just going to be honest. You probably weren't super straight. Oh, maybe, maybe you were. And then at the, and then at the end, you're like, you know what? This wasn't for me. You know, it's like you try really hard to to like something your friend likes, but then you realize that at the end, you, the, no amount, no amount of you attempting to like it, your brain is just not wired for you to enjoy it. And so you just, you know, you leave and then you just go on with the rest of your life. OMG, a gay guy, help, I've been converted, help, 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 help me. Life, who's never entertained any other kind of thought. And then you try to get him, well, actually you went even in greater depth uh, with him. Let's play that clip. The thing is, it's like when you write for like Sean Cody, which is like primarily gay targeted, when you write for trans angels, which is trans uh, female presenting targeted, you also try to see how much you can take of that and bring it to mainstream vanilla content, right? Because like Brazzers.
I'm so sorry. I wasn't even paying attention to what we was actually being was actually the happening. I was I was actually just shocked by the by the music going on. I'm Play sorry. The thing is, it's like when you write for like Sean Cody, which is like primarily gay targeted, when you write for trans angels, which is trans uh, female presenting targeted, you also try to see how much you can take of that and bring it to mainstream vanilla content, right? It's like Razzers and Reality Kings is predominantly for straight men, but you try to like push the envelope as much as you can be like, okay, can I hint at like my content here? Can I, can I like talk more about like, what if we brought a trans talent onto the site? And you kind of like take those risks to try and broaden it a little bit more, even though you know that you have a site dedicated to that, right? Like you're always trying to push a little further. Because the thing is, the thing about Trans Angels, which is a site, um, it's female presenting trans women, it's, and like they sell that to straight men. Like that's the demographic. There it is. There is it. They are. Wait. Um, it's female presenting trans women, it's, and like they sell that to straight men. Like that's the demographic. There it is. There is. They are. They're trying to trans the straight guys. I mean that. He, They're trying to trans the straight guys. <laughs> no, buddy. I mean, the, the broadest thing that you could ever possibly bring to this is them having like a trans girlfriend and not trying to get them to have a trans girlfriend, not make them trans. Like what if if this was the case, Michael, this and this is how I know he, do, he doesn't even know what the fuck he's talking about. If this was the case that they were trying to make the people trans, then they would no longer be the target demographic because then they would never be like just just normie straight guys anymore because they'd be they, they'd now be trans. And so where where would they go? Because like the content wouldn't be for them. And most trans women are 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 like straight or like or, or like bi, but but have like but are, but most but you know usually enjoy straight flavors if if this was the case then they wouldn't they would be losing their audience they'd literally be transing out their audience to watch something else at that point that doesn't make any sense they're talking about broadening i don't know man they're just a company <laughs> i don't michael michael knowles finds out that capitalism doesn't always do the perfect thing i guess that he wants cap running running a society only based off of capitalism is wrong sure trans people are a contagion hazard is that why they're trying to pass laws against gay and uh, gay and trans people going places because because michael knows you think okay 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 i've got an idea to finally get conservatives to wear masks you can't always tell if somebody that you're around is gay and we need to we need i know it's against medical practice but fauci needs to come out with a study about how gay people when they breathe release gay particulates that if you breathe enough in can can has has a has the possibility to make you gay in time you know it's like a ticking gay bomb that's inside of you once once it gets in you can call them Fuentes particles. That is true. The, the gay people sneeze, they spread their gay particles. And the craziest thing about it is that when trans, it, it's, it's actually like ramped up with trans people. It's actually 17 times more contagious than the gay particles. That's why we've been seeing such a high rise in, in, in people identifying with, with trans identities because the, the trans particulates are just so much more contagious. I think, guys, I think this is what we actually need to do to finally get them to wear masks. I think this could finally do it. I think this could finally do it. This may, this may finally be it. It might be, it might be, who knows? That's not my words, don't, hey, hey, social media companies, don't take me off for saying that. That's with the senior writer at MindGeek, the guy who writes all of this porn. He is saying, we are trying to take straight guys. Our target demo is converting straight guys into trans guys. That's not. They, what the fuck am I? They can't be trans men. They're men. How do you? <laughs> they're con they're doing what to them? They're converting straight men into trans men. How do you even do that? 
<laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what is happening? What are you talking about? How do you convert a straight man into a trans man? <laughs> okay, well, how do you convert like a cis man into a trans man? Do you first do you first give take the straight man and give him a pussy and then make him make him a trans woman? But then they're just a woman, right? But then they transition again back to being um, back to being a man, but not detransitioning. They double trans and retransition. They go all the way back around. They don't like go backwards. It's like a clock. It's like a, a circle where they just keep going and they've reached the the other end, but from the opposite side again. Is is that is that how that works? Twisting up a trans pretzillo. Yeah, and you know, I double think, a, double I think acting he trans in the marketing yeah. sense, which doesn't Conversion. really make it any better. What's well, it's um, the same really sense? It, about it, yes, I, there's a whole conversation yeah. to be had about the business model and capitalism. But it, when we're talking about a product that involves at a very deep level your own desires and your own identity, then when you convert people to the product, you're converting them in their desire and their identity. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And I think they're completely motivated by profits. They just want to make more a wider variety of content, more palatable and um, more profitable to the single viewer. Um, and, you know, going back to children accessing pornography, we're seeing more and more ID law. Holy, holy crap. She she actually came here to talk about the, the kid thing, but he genuinely doesn't care and he keeps pivoting away from it. And she has to like struggle to bring him back this is so in funny the US, so now in many states it's required to verify your age before entering a pornographic site um isn't this the lady that's constantly getting dunked on who um, alo and the parent company of Pornhub is actively suing some of these u.s states trying to stop this from happening because they openly admit that re requiring their id before accessing porn actually drives down their traffic by 80 percent so for them protecting children is not a concern Maximizing profits is 100% their concern, and they don't seem to care who they harm in the of process. Of course not. I thought it told the whole story when Utah first passed, I think it was Utah, passed that, that uh, ID law. And instantly, Pornhub said, okay, we're not doing business in the state of Utah anymore. Arden, tell me a little bit about the investigation itself, whatever you can without compromising your methods. Of course. Uh, well, we were inspired to investigate Pornhub in the first place because of a 2020 New York Times article called The Children of Pornhub. It really detailed uh, struggles of often underage people to get their abuse videos taken off of Pornhub, which were. I remember that we covered that as well. Um, I want to take a look at this really quick. Uh, let's let's see some of let's see some of this stuff, because this is the original investigation video that they uploaded. I want to see what's going on here. How easy it is it for like an underage person to view the site? Just go to the site. Let's say you're 12 years old, you're still figuring out your sexuality, maybe even your gender. Wouldn't it be helpful to see not a celebration, but just like maybe a normalization of Oh yeah, they didn't show the Yeah, they didn't show the question that was asked. I wanna know what question was actually asked here. Okay. Yeah, so they didn't he didn't they didn't show the question that was asked here. Okay. Normal, normal, like a uh, far right quote unquote investigation um bullshit. Okay, good to know. Um But yeah, you can just go on the site. My question is what did, what do they want what like what what do they want to happen? Like how 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 is this possible? Like you can, I guess, try to do that ID law, but there's ways to get a there's ways to get around you putting in your ID. That's not your ID. There's ways to get around you putting in your ID as well. You can just get on the site. But what do you what do you genuinely want them to do? And I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't want these sites to have my ID. If I'm gonna be honest, I'm just gonna be completely honest with you. I don't want these sites to have like anybody's I identification numbers at all. Like any of their I ID, and and in that case, can you just like lie again? Can you just say that you're older than you are again? You could just lie on it again. I'm not mailing any website my ID. That's not ha unless it's specifically government ran, and they need it for a very specific thing. But if it is, I could just give them my social security, and then that's fine. And I'm I'm telling you now. I'm not giving any any website besides like 
a government website or a website for taxes. My <laughs> my my social security number. That's not happening. I don't trust Facebook with my ID. I also don't do that. Something that you think is what you want, you know, it probably helps a lot. Let's say I was 12. Okay, we watch all this. You wouldn't get that. A bigger audience. You may be familiar with Mike Farley, the current Pornhub product manager who became one of Pornhub's no. first employees over 10 years ago, and Dylan Rice, the senior scriptwriter for Pornhub's parent company, MindGeek, now rebranding as ALO, who has written scripts for MindGeek's porn sites and advertisements for over five years. Today, meet Syl Fernandez. Fernandez is a production coordinator for some of MindGeek's plethora of porn sites. How long have you been at MindGeek? Oh, uh, it's going to be two years next month. While states are currently enacting laws to require IDs to prevent children Pornhub has pulled out of multiple states rather than comply with age verification laws. <laughs> oh, yeah, because they want Pornhub. I'm, I don't want Pornhub to have my ID. I don't want them to have my ID. I'm telling you. A simple law is doing the impossible. Making the online porn retreat. This is so interesting. Let's see. So here it is. Pornography is creating a public health crisis and having corroding influence on minors. The bill holds pornography websites liable uh, unless the websites perform reasonable age verification methods. In short, verifying users show government ID to prove that they're 18 or not. Um, Democratic governor, as there is, no fan of legislation, uh, signed the bill after about a week it, about a week after it arrived to his desk. Government ID. I don't want them to have my ID. I don't want them to have my ID. <laughs> it's just crazy like mail them and I, like here's the thing is that they make these type of laws but how in the world do you actually comply with it like do you have a system where you just check everybody's id like individually i have no qualms about vetoing bills unsuccessfully vetoed puberty blocker bills and stuff like that so the first uh kind was in louisiana age verification bill was not the last nearly identical bills were passed in six other states are kansas Montana, Mississippi, Utah, Virginia, Texas. There are similarly lopsided margins uh, in Utah uh, unanimously. So like, unlike past efforts to curb the online online porn that simply de declared sites danger to public health, these laws were are not symbolic. In 2019, last point of reach data was visited 42 billion times. That's a lot of times. Uh, lawsuits have been filed by the Porn Industries Trade Association Free Speech Coalition uh, against Utah and Louisiana, but in the meantime, porn companies have had no choice but to comply with the laws. According to Ethical Capital Partners, the private equity companies that owns Pornhub traffic in Louisiana has dropped 80%. There's still 20%. They still have 20% that can they can access the site. In, other, in the other three states where uh, the laws have been been in effect for months, Utah, Mississippi, and Virginia, Pornhub did something even more unprecedented. They simply stopped operating. Users in these uh, states attempt to visit the site are greeted with a safer work video of Charlie DeVille, porn star clothed, explaining the site, the site's decision to pull out of the state. Uh, the video instructs many angry porn users to call their legislators. It does not dim the joy of lawmakers, according to uh, Bill and many of the colleagues celebrating the Improbable and unexpected retreat of the pornography behemoth. And other colleagues, th they think it's hilarious that have been high-fiving each other in boyish triumph. These bills don't originate uh, in the pack, and conservatives think. They're actually, origin, ironically, is from the Howard Stern show. The therapist, her ex-bio. And where are the problems in child exposure to pornography, but uh, freshman representative, self-described radical feminist anti-porn crusader from manchester england it's not marriage let's be very clear on this so the same goal and uh, diverting kids from porn they don't unnecess necessarily see it as a part of the same larger picture free speech coalition the trade group for the adult industry has already sued louisiana and utah the rest of the states might be next i can't stress that it is a first amendment issue in free speech i do want to know where this goes that is super interesting I don't think they're gonna I don't think they're going to win that. It's just it's it is just like an ID law. Obviously their goal isn't isn't like to really like have kids not not look at this stuff. It's to actually just get rid of online porn completely. But I'm not sure if they're if it's even possible for them to uh um to actually sue this successfully to a point where they don't have to 
verify IDs. Well, maybe. I don't know. It just depends on how, how difficult that is. Can they just use a VPN? Yes. They could simply just use a VPN. Workarounds like VPNs and fake IDs. Sure, these are ways for under 21-year-olds to get hands of liquor, but it doesn't mean you uh, shouldn't pass underage drinking laws. It's creating a sort of uh, bar of regulation. Uh, the state legislators, at least, it seems to have a more convincing argument. Not only have six states passed copycat legislation, but 16 more have introduced similar or nearly identical bills. So the poll is like 85-15 issue. Well, state legislators have a public seem to report the laws do and do face at least one powerful, experienced enemy, the ACLU. Oh, no. Oh, good Lord. The ACLU. <laughs> they got a lot of money. They're huge. Which has so far said nothing publicly about these laws. And some of these laws are obviously unconstitutional. She believes that the Supreme Court rulings in Reno versus ACLU in 1997 and Ash Ashcroft versus ACLU in 2002 to 2004 have made it very clear that when uh, that what adults can access can't be diminished to the level of what's appropriate in a sandbox for kids. The idea that these laws will burden adults access to speech that is protected. Uh, they have every right to engage and access with uh, even laws that mandate age verification. Oh, no. Oh, no. The ACLU is like. Wait, the ACLU is like, actually, we we've already won this and we could sue you at any time. Uh, so though the ACLU and a hundred billion dollar point industry are against these laws, they seem to be largely alone in that position. You good? All right. Around 54 million Americans will live in states where they are required to upload their identification to access pornography websites. If those pornography websites choose to operate there at all. In the meantime, there's less porn on the internet in Arkansas. This is for the um, porn hub withdrew from the state, making it the fourth uh, state that would uh, that would be porn users finding um, porn industry the same day. Federal judge in Utah dismissed a free speech coalition lawsuit against the state. I can see that. Yeah, I was like, I'm not sure if that's like, I'm not sure if I'm not sure if you can sue for that. Anyways from entering porn sites, these three men talked to our undercover reporter about children viewing pornography on MindGeek sites, including Pornhub and TransAngelsAndMen.com, which are MindGeek sites featuring studio-produced transgender and gay-focused pornography. How easy is it for like an underage person to view the site? Go to the site. To get on, what do you have to do? How much? Probably that much, yeah. There was a study that was up. Like the average age kids are now. Oh, here, wait, let's see. Awareness of pornography, the results of a survey that proportion children are reported having seen pornography at some point increased significantly with age, as one might expect. 51% of 11 to 13 year olds, 66% of 14 to 15, 79%, 39% of 16 to 17. Based on the findings from the qualitative work, it appears to be somewhat underreported in true extent exposure pornography, which could be expected. Okay. Never heard of porn. That makes sense. Like 15% never even heard of it. Heard of it, but not seen it. Not seen it, but have seen before. Seen in the last two weeks. Rice and Fernandez had more to say about their work, specifically in LGBTQ content. Let's say you're 12 years old, you're still figuring out your sexuality, maybe even your gender. Wouldn't it be helpful to see, not a celebration, but just like maybe a normalization of, what do you think about it? Let's say you're... Trans angel. Someone like lonely, repressed 12 year olds are going on trans angels and learning their 
press 12 year olds are going on trans angels and yeah learning. i think so i mean like think about it let's say you're 12 years old you're still figuring out your sexuality maybe even your gender oh so there was the question do you think that lonely repressed 12 year olds are going on to um men.com and learning well, that is true, yeah. But here's the thing: he did for once. He didn't ask if it was if it was specifically a good thing, or if like it's better that kids learn on a porn site than in school. Yeah, obviously they would they would go on and they would see some stuff and they may you know quote unquote learn. But yeah, that should this type of stuff should happen in a in a protective environment in school and not online. Yeah. The site's literally right there. Yeah, you can just load it up. Wouldn't it be helpful to see not a celebration, but just like maybe a normalization of something that you think is what you want, you know? It probably helps a lot. I think it um shapes sexual attitude. Like if you find out you're not I don't know, this is so weird because she didn't ask, do you like are these specifically good things? They were asking he was she was literally prompting him to to answer with what good things do you think come from it and out just <sighs> journalism <laughs> yeah journalist yeah i'm a i'm a journalist i'm a journalist just so you know these aren't actually questions that journalists ask people this entrapment yeah it kind of is it's just like if you could would just walk up and ask just like straight questions to people and then get their answers. You could even probably still build the same thing that they're doing. They just choose not to. That's not what you prefer. Yeah, no, it's an amazing point. Cause like, if, let's say- Here, yeah, let's see. Find out you're not. Shape sexual attitude. Like, you know, you find out. Probably helps a lot. Yeah. I think it, um, shape sexual attitude. Like, you know, you find out you're not. Yeah, it's, oh, it's an amazing point. Cause like, if let's say I was 12 and I saw like Trans Angels, I saw all these different sites, it would help me figure out what I do like and what I don't like. Because if you're exposed to nothing, you have no idea. And maybe you're more like pliable. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. I mean, if, if everyone, like, you know, shouldn't just be heterosexual people at fun. Some LGBTQ kids who sure. are so confused. Of course, of course. No, yeah, it's true. And lonely, and like, scared, you know? No, of course. Of course. Yeah, I just thought right for them to feel that way. Do you think men.com is a good resource for them? I'm, I'm sure, yeah. I mean, they'll, they'll find their kink in there, I'm sure. The thing is, it's like when you write for like Sean Cody, which is like primarily gay targeted, when you write for trans angels, which is trans uh, female presenting targeted, you also try to see how much you can take of that and bring it to mainstream vanilla. I mean, I wouldn't say that I would I wouldn't say I wouldn't agree with him to say it was like a good resource. I mean, it, it should be like a very narrow sense of what you mean by good and resource. Right. Obviously, once again, you just want these you want these people to be able to figure this stuff out in, in, in protected environments in schools, you know, with and that that's age appropriate. But I feel like she's doing she's doing more sometimes than what like <laughs> she's doing more sometimes than what like what some of these guys are. It's crazy. I've heard worse from conservatives. That yeah, is true, but content, right? I don't like, agree. I don't agree with it. Like, a lot of these people were saying are straight men, but you try to like push the envelope as much as you can. This like, music is hitting. Can though. I hint at like my content here? Can I can I like talk more about like what if we brought a trans talent onto the site? Mm. And you kind of like take those risks to try and broaden it a little bit more, even though you know that you have a site dedicated to that, right? Like you're always trying to push a little further. Rice explains how MindGeek sites gradually introduce and push what he describes as less accepted content. Browsers taking the same approach in that they're the biggest, they're everywhere, so they need to appeal to every single niche. And I think they've they've done a lot to explore kind of every mainstream thing. So what they need to do now is they need to try definitely lead. Oh yeah, they're just asking a bunch of leading questions. Do you think LGBTQ kids seeing themselves in porn helps them realize that they're gay? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah, it's just like do you th do you think like 
LGBT people seeing other L- LGBT people who've never thought about that seeing other LGBT people makes them make helps them like solidify their identity. I mean, the answer is yes, but that's that's not even of the question of if this is like the best option for that to happen or if there's nothing else. Is this if there's literally nothing else? Because he even like stipulated that if you've never seen literally anything. Could, could it be like a good resource in some way? And I mean, in, in the narrowest possible sense, maybe. But I don't really think this is getting what they think it's getting. Try to push stuff that's more, less, less accepted. Like putting a, putting a trans male or trans female in a scene, you wouldn't get that on a normal mainstream site. Oh, and this so is the force gain is sissy hip no point. Convert somebody, right? Like maybe somebody who's never looked for anything like that might find it interesting and click on it. Same thing for bi stuff, same thing for gay. But bi stuff is usually marketed towards women, but they also want to try and get more men, straight men in on it too, or bi curious men. Because the thing is, the thing about Trans Angels, which is a site, um, it's female presenting trans women, it's, and like they sell that to straight men. Like that's the demographic. So I think the next big step would be trying to do something that's kind of counterculture. Maybe doing like <clears throat> a trans man in a scene, like having a, a guy, a male presenting a trans man with a see how that does. Because we'll see how people react to it differently. But like it's a lot of experimenting and seeing what hits and what doesn't. Days more employees stay tuned. Okay. Well, this was six days ago. It seemed like they don't have more. Oh, maybe they do. No oh, compliance employee reveals so much room for error and unverified porn ads. Rapist traffickers using Pornhub loophole make a lot of money. Yeah, probably. Pornhub exec on sex abuse victim. We're taking it seriously. Why does this video have more views than this one? Still, with the one of them saying that we're trying to be better has more of them trying to paint them all as PDFs. Porn writer ads with guys that look like 15 do the best, make a lot of money. He looks 13, but they but they put him in stuff because he looks like that. You ever heard of Piper Perry? Is that shit that be oh, like? I, I don't know. I really feel like it's less of a problem with Pornhub and more of a problem with like our culture. But it's sure still, I guess. Revenge porn, they don't give a fuck. I, I really is there anything is there anything else to watch? Is that is that all they have? This is from a day ago. Exposing Pornhub with Arden Young, Nami Shroom. Oh my lord. Oh, the guy has the guy has um he has pronouns in his bio though. He said he was assigned Hillbilly at birth. So true. And I don't even know if they're comical or not, but like the breakdowns of like what porn is watched the most in each state or something like that. Um, when when it comes to, uh, I'm going to keep I, this off stream to not give them any news. Like, does it seem like there's specific, it's, we hear a lot about specific agendas being pushed through Pornhub. Where did, have you been able to, to determine the veracity of that? Have you been able to, to see if there's like, like specific user targeting going on like how does that algorithm work and like what are they trying to feed people because my buddy my buddy sam uh has talked about it uh a lot like he's pretty open about like when he quit porn and why he did and stuff like that not not acting in it but consuming it um Mm -hmm. i you know that's the the pain ultimate thing right there so if it's not if it's not that, that's their audio driven at, at like a cracks policy level i could totally understand that but the overall role that it's playing yeah i mean effectively it almost doesn't matter if the intent is just oh we want to maximize profits or we actually want to interfere with someone's sexuality because effectively um the the results are going to be similar if you're purposefully trying to sway someone's sexuality then you are swaying someone's sexuality whether or not you're doing it for the profits or for some social agenda you know Mm. Um, looking back at the the TV career, and I don't like I I, I missed I missed regular TV <laughs> right to uh, audio right, right around the time that Bill Clinton got elected. Uh, th- so many power dynamics in play in the industry that are just naturally there; they're naturally occurring that people will absolutely exploit. Because when you're when you're trying to be an actor, you have an agent. Or- you think we should ask her to come on stream? 
What do you think? Because just so you know, she's on a stream now that has how many views does this have? This has 900 views and it was posted a day ago. It's a stream that literally has 900 views. So I don't know. It's possible. It's possible. The idea that she wouldn't come on. It's definitely not because of viewership. This was me on Modern Family 10 years ago. At that point in my life, I was confident I'd never pursue any career outside of Hollywood. Yo, why is it always? Bro, why is it always the failed actors and comedians? It's like always the failed actors and comedians. This is crazy to me. It's like all of them. It's more Hollywood rejects. They're all Hollywood rejects. I just think it's remarkable. Who is this one? This is the lady who was asking the questions in that video that we were watching. Yeah, this was a while ago and this 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 has gone way less far than I was expecting it to, because I really thought that people were going to that the conservatives were going to pick this up. They don't even care. I don't know. Maybe it's because they're always like, man, when when like a story is like woman woman rapist assaults little boy they're always like boy i wish i was that little boy May do you think that's why they don't care because they haven't been i was expecting they would like eat this up like candy but no they just <laughs> this hasn't gone hasn't really gone anywhere or gotten any real mainstream uh mainstream press even like the big conservatives haven't been talking about this much like gay cons out there probably it's possible non-zero percent chance that that's happening all right, then. Come here. Come here. Oh. Hi. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. If you're enjoying the content, hit the subscribe button. If you don't, it'll make Boo very sad. I know a bunch of you who are watching are not subscribed. Join the frenzy. You won't regret it. <laughs> Thank you, Boo.